What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? What's up, you guys? It's Happy Wednesday, y'all. Real Talk Wednesday. What's up, everybody? What's up? So I hope everybody's having a really great day, great afternoon, good evening. Well, what's up, you guys? I hope you all are having like an amazing day, for real. It's Monday. You know, really Monday, because I'm recording this. But let me tell y'all real quick. Um... I was sitting in the car, what was it, uh, was it Friday? I think it was Friday. It was either Thursday or Friday. And um, I was reading the comments in the video of last week. I don't remember particularly what video it was. You, you know what, it was the video where I was changing the tire. Because at the end of the video, I did go to Mid-K Beauty Supply Store out here. And that's the beauty supply store that I like really always go to. There are other ones, but... I think it's because Mid K was the second beauty supply store that I had ever went to when I first moved out here. The other one I was not so impressed with, girl. But Mid K, you know, it reminded me of home, so I just always go there. However, there are other ones out here that I have ventured off to. I went to this other one called Grandmark. They're pretty big. I went there once. I can't really remember the other one, but it was pretty decent. I think it was a Grandmark as well, but like in a different neighborhood. But either way, you know, they had some decent stuff. I like to go for sometimes mostly like the little beauty supply store, earrings, accessories, stuff like that. Like I ain't going for the hair because I, I guess that. But you know, like other little things, gel, stuff like that, I'll go for too. Well, anyway, I went to Mid-K after changing the damn tire because I was looking for some gel. And they got like a nice selection of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can't complain. And I really wanted to try this Eco Gel out. Like not the one that I have used a couple of times a whole jar full before and wasn't satisfied with. But I knew that Mick Hay had like every single eco styling gel that was ever made. They had it there because I think it. Okay. So I went there and I was like, I'm going to just try this other one because I really want to know what everybody's so like, you know, so gun ho crazy about over this eco gel because that shit don't work for me. So I went there, you know what I'm saying? I got the gel. I got this one, the eco sport. Okay. It says extra holes for active lifestyle. For active lifestyle. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm pretty active and stuff. You know, I be doing stuff all the time. It's active. So maybe this maybe this one is going to hold, like, my hair down in, spot, in place. Because people be like, they're using it for their edges and stuff and laying their baby hairs. Like, honey, do you have newborn hairs or adult hairs? Because um, this stuff ain't laying nobody's edges down. But okay, if that's what, you, that's what you're saying, maybe, girl, listen. Your hair is coarser than mine. So, it, you know, it behooved me. But I'm like, I kept it pushing, like. If it worked for you, girl, then good luck. Hey, what, tell me what your tricks are because it's not working for me. So, and you know, I had tried the one with the green top. And I had tried the one that's all clear with the orange writing. Okay? I really didn't understand what the big hoo-ha was about the gel. But, okay. I always had to use that with something else. Like, that was not holding nothing down by itself. So I'm like, maybe I was, maybe I'm getting the wrong one because this is active and I'm active. So I'm going to get this one. Then I noticed that they all said max hold 10. I don't know what their maximum hold is, but girl, it is not a 10 over here. Anyway, I got this $4. When I say they have every single eco styling gel at Mid K, they have every single one in every single goddamn size too. They have ones that's the size of like this right here. Okay. Of this little fan. I kid you not, they have one that's this big. That's the economy size one. That's where you can get the whole school together and lay their baby hairs and stuff down. They had that. That big one like that is $12.99. Okay, so this one was $4. I was not about to spend $12.99 on that. I definitely didn't need all that gel. That's a lot of fucking gel. Okay, so I get this. And, you know, I don't know why I'm so excited to use this shit, but it had a little flip open top. Okay, this is a little bit different versus the other ones. But, okay, maybe this one really going to work. So I put it on, you know, and it, and it kind of worked a little bit better than the other ones. I don't know if that's, if it really did, but I, I feel like it did, but I don't know if that's me wanting it to have performed better. And that's why I'm saying it is because maybe it really didn't. And, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, but I do know that I couldn't use it alone. So I had to use it with this, which is the Style Factors Edge Booster. I got this from Amazon. It was $10. This is the extra strength and moisture rich pomade, thick and coarse hair. So I'm like, when I seen this on Amazon, I'm like, I'm getting this one because it doesn't matter if it says thick and coarse. 
my shit be wanting to not lay the fuck down too. Girl, listen, let me tell y'all. Because I'm just getting off track and just making the story longer than it has to be. I replied to a comment about the eco, uh, about the big beauty supply store. That's what this all boils down to. They have a brand new beauty supply store out here. Been open since January called Waba. I'm like, what the fuck kind of name is that? But I was reading the reviews and people was like, girls was like, or women were like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. Ever since I walked in that door, it's like going in heaven. Um, I don't know about all that bitch, because if you walked into heaven, you wouldn't be here writing a review about no fucking beauty supply store. Because I guarantee you, if your ass walked into heaven, you ain't coming back, okay? Bitch, you there to stay. But who am I to judge her? But she just was like, you know, one of the comments said that. Then the other one was like, this is the place to be. I'm never going to no other beauty supply store ever. This is going to be my one go-to store. Oh my God, I can't believe all the stuff they had. I'm like, wow, this is like sounding like a really promising store. Me and Tinky go there. And it took me like 20 minutes to get there. Same amount of time that it would take me to get to mid k kind of like. I walk in there, it's huge. And I even took some footage of it. I had to like sneak and hold my camera. They had such a nice setup. Girl, they had like these stations to try on the wigs. Then they had this other station that was like in the middle of the floor. That like was like the little sitting area, the waiting area. Then on the other side, there was like all the hair care products and beauty supply store accessories you could imagine. When I tell you they had every fucking fingernail press on company up in that bitch, I was like, whoa, they had every freaking styling gel product. I was so amazed and rows and rows and rows of hair and fashion jewelry. Girl, I was like, whoa, this is definitely the place to be. I felt like I was in heaven for a second too, okay? It was set up so nice. Um, I was like, I don't need no type of hair, but I like, I like going to the beauty supply store. So I did buy like some fashion accessories. Of course, I bought those. And then I seen this, okay? I seen this one. And I seen this on Amazon. It was $20. At the beauty supply store, it was $14. But then I seen reviews. People were saying like, oh, it don't hold that great. It is $10 more than this. But let me tell you, the consistency of this is a little bit thicker than this. And this does really do hold. This holds. I was so impressed because it's like different scents you could get. So I got, what is it? Sugar melon scent. But in, but it's the same ounces, okay? It's the same exact ounces. They even give you a little spatula that clips to the top and stuff. And it smells so good, but it does hold. So the consistency isn't as thick as this, but it's definitely thicker than the Eco. But um, it, it does hold well. Like, it's a good consistency. I like it. I like this gel. I don't know if y'all can see the um consistency of it, but I do like it. It's definitely look. If I couldn't find it nowhere else, I would definitely buy it from Amazon for twenty dollars. It's definitely worth twenty dollars. This this stuff is definitely worth twenty dollars. I do like it. Um, who out there um has used this, and what do you think of this product? I really do like it. I want to know your thoughts if you used it. But I like the setup. They got a lot of products. They got all kind of stuff. They had so much stuff in that beauty supply store. I walked out of there spending forty eight dollars, and I bought some. I bought some fashion jewelry, like you know, some earrings. I bought this. This was the mostly most costly thing that I bought. I bought one of those sponge hair brushes, and that was it. They had loads of makeup. They had a lot of nice stuff in there. And today, you know, me and my daughter and I, we went and worked out at the gym. After that, we went to all these just to get a couple of things. And you know how all these has like these aisles. These aisles in all these. Where you can just, it's like a, unlim a limited, a limited edition, not a limited edition, but a limited time. It's nothing that they're going to, it's nothing that they're going to continuously sell in their store. When I seen these pet appreciation t-shirts to match the owners, girl, I had to have this. This was the last one in my size in this print. And this was the last one in pancake size. In this print, it says besties, brunch, and booze, matching shirts. So me and Penny got matching shirts. Okay. Like, hello. Y'all know I love t-shirts and I love pancakes. Fingernails are off. Okay. My fingernail beds are so sore. My nails were just so sore. They hurt. They still are a little sore. I was so excited to cornrow my hair on the sides. Like I haven't been able to braid like really like that. I have, there's a lot of things that I have to learn how to use in a different format but um and braiding I still was not able to master so I'm um, I was so happy I, my braid was so damn tight girl I put my own edges out all right but um anyway yeah I got that removed so I think I'm just gonna be good for a while you know I go through these phases and sometimes 
And I went through this phase before with the fingernails and I was wearing them for a very long time. I think this time was the longest. It was um, since last December. So almost a year. And that's a long time for me. And I actually, you know, kept up with it. But, you know, I just want to relax. I need to let my fingernails relax. But anyway, we're going to get into this real talk real quick. If you have a real talk that you would like for me to talk about, you can send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com or aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Please make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk. And if you want to change the name of the people that you are referring to, talking about in the emails, then go ahead and let me know that in the email. If you don't and you don't say you change the names in 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to do what? I'm going to do it for you. So on that note, let's get into this Real Talk. Okay. Huh? 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 What? Hey April, I have a serious question for you and your subscribers. Please, I need your help. So for one, I consider myself a person who doesn't really need much. I like to save money. I'm very frugal and I'm just trying to provide a good living for my children. I'm married and have been with this man for a long time, but sis, I'm over his money habits. Money habits as in he doesn't have any. One minute he's here and then the next he's not due to him being on vacation at his second home, which is jail. Then when he's here, his jobs are half-assed. He wants to run schemes and scams to get more money, which is not helping and feels like it's draining my damn pockets. I'm trying so hard to stand by his side, be the woman for him, and make him into the man I need. But sis, how is that even possible when it seems like all he want to do is smoke weed, drink, gamble with his boys, hang on the corner, try to smoke and sell weed, go back and forth to jail, and then pretend like he wants better, like he wants more for us. April, I'm tired of this life. I honestly feel like I'm struggling and I'm taking care of someone else's child because when is he going to grow the hell up and be the man for me and our kids? We have two kids. Yes, they are young still and God willing, hope they don't learn of any of this foolishness with their father. I'm tired of bailing him out, holding it all the way down for all of us. I'm tired of arguing with him and battling the bullshit with him. One minute I want to be out or kick him out. One minute I just want to move on and better my life and kids life without him because it feels like he's bringing me down. I hate to feel like a bad wife, but sis, I'm not even sure why I married him. It was a moment in my life when he was my world, but we were so much younger then and how and now I'm in my early 30s and he's still acting like a teen. How do I get over this bullshit of a relationship and move forward with my life? How do I say screw him and make it on my own? When do you get fed up and tired and say enough already? It's so hard because I love him, but sis, he's not doing anything for me mentally, financially. He's not empowering me at all. And I honestly don't know how to continue to tell a grown ass man he needs to grow up. Please, your help is appreciated. Oh, and you can call me Melanie. Melanie then said, Melanie, Melanie, Melanie has said a whole fucking mouthful just now. Like, serious? Melanie asked and said a whole mouthful just now. She is tired, okay? Bottom line, her ass is fucking tired. How do you get over this bullshit of a relationship? First of all, honey, I'm going to say this. I think you are over it, to be honest. I have never heard someone say I am tired of something so much. I'm tired of this life. I feel like I'm struggling. She is just, I'm tired of arguing and battling with him. You know something? First of all, it sucks when you've been with somebody for so long and you've been held them down and then they just, for so long, and you put up with so much of their bullshit and it just feels like they are not moving forward in life. They just, it seems like they're going backwards. You know what I'm saying? Because from the things that she's saying and the, and the, and, and his ways, it just feels like he's going backwards. They're in, she's in her early 30s and he's still acting like a teenager. I'm in my early 30s and he's still acting like a teen. That got to suck to feel like that about your own spouse. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all been down for quite some time got two kids and you still acting like a damn child yourself like that shit to get old and tiring and if you're gonna still keep constantly going back and forth to jail then dude when you come out there may not be a family waiting for you 
that shit get tiring and old as fuck too. Like in the beginning, that shit might be cool. Like, oh, you know, I'ma hold him down. I'ma beat up him. Oh, that's my boo thing. Mm -hmm, that's my boo. You know, you were there. I'm, I'm there with you. We gonna do this together. We doing this bit together. Then probably like at the second time, it's like, oh, I got him, but I sure do miss him. Then after a while, it's like, girl, please, bye, nigga. You is so sorry of a man. All you want to do is keep going back and forth to jail. Ain't nobody got time to be waiting for you. You finally at your wit's end when a nigga try to call you and you be like, what? Why did you call on my phone? What do you want? No, I'm not putting no money on the phone and I'm not putting no money in your conversation. Stop calling me. Won't you ask your mother? God damn. Leave me the fuck alone. That's how you get after a while. That shit gets corny. Okay, when you younger, it seemed like it might be a little bit cool. You know, that's my man. But what I'm saying is, when you grown, you should grow the fuck up and be grown. You be so worried about saying, I'm grown, I can do this myself. Then you should do that whole motherfucking bid yourself. Let me tell you something, Melanie. When you get tired and you get, you seem like you overly tired. But when you tired, honey, you get just tired, you get numb. Then you finally just be over it and then you could care less. Trust me when I tell you, I have been in that same situation before. I get tired. Like nobody want to sit there and keep bailing somebody the fuck out and keep writing letters, accepting collect calls or prepaid calls, going on visits. Nobody wants to keep doing that or explaining to your kids, where's daddy at? Oh, that nigga's in jail, okay? Like nobody wants to continuously have to do that. And then when they come out, they have to get back up on their feet again, which means that you're taking care of another child because that's a grown ass child they ain't coming out some of them may be coming out with jobs but let's not let's just keep it on 100 that's not happening for everybody okay so let's just keep it there so when they get out you gotta clothe and feed them and get them hygiene stuff you gotta you have to continuously still take care of them and like nobody has time for that grow the fuck up and that goes for everybody who wants to keep going back and forth to jail grow the fuck up now you got kids you got children and on top of that, he's running schemes and scams, trying to get more money, which feels like it's burning a hole in your pocket. Sweetheart, it probably is because his schemes and scams always take money. And that's probably the money that he's making, which is not contributing to help you with bills. So that means that all the contributing that he should be doing with his schemes and scams money, he's not doing that, which means that you are taking more money out of your pocket and doing that. Girl, listen, let me tell you something. When you get tired, you get tired. When you get fed up, you get fed the fuck up. And there comes a time in the, after a while when you be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm over it. You, and you say this to yourself over and over again, like, oh, well, this is it. I'm done. I don't feel like being bothered with this bullshit. And then, you know, he come right back. You take him back. But I, trust me when I tell you, trust me when I fucking tell you, after a while you keep taking him back girl you get numb the numb feeling is when nothing bothers you anymore that's the numb that's the numb that's like when you don't even care about the relationship at all like you don't want to see the person get hurt like or nothing like that but as far as like like emotional you know what I'm saying it's it's like you're numb there's nothing left and that's when you know like okay my time here is done. It's and not attractive when you have a man that you're in a relationship with and they don't help provide. That shit is not a turn on. In the beginning, yes, we working together. We got to do this together. I know you just got out. I'm going to help you get on your feet and we're going to do this, you know. But after a while, nigga, you've been out for a while and you're doing dumb shit. It's not attractive. It's No, it's not attractive at all to see a broke man a broke Negro, a broke man, okay, and then you are carrying the load. That shit is not attractive. That's not a turn off. People be like, oh, he's fine. He's handsome. Does that pay the bills? Maybe for some people it do if it's a modeling career, but bitch, he's not that here. So therefore, that ain't paying no motherfucking bills here. I'd rather have an ugly ass man with a good sense, okay, up here and a good ass job and bank account than a fucking fine ass broke motherfucker, okay? Because where is that paying the bills at? And I could care less about your dick game because that ain't paying the bills either. However, it can be when I pimp your ass out on the street corner for not bringing no money up in here. That's what it'll pay the bills. And that's when you better get the best D game ever, okay? Having a man around you that don't do nothing, that ain't about nothing, that ain't got coming in and bringing nothing, he ain't even empowering her. God damn, if, honey, how do you get over it? I think your, your question is a little bit late. How do you get over it? It seems like, sweetheart, Melanie, it seems like you are over it. How do you get over it? Well, it seems like you are over it. it. seems like you've been over it. And there's a whole lot of things that you're tired of. And I get that. You know, 
it you know the old saying saying I could do bad by myself and that is so true and I can also do good by myself. You never hear anyone ever say, Well, I could do all I could do bad by myself and I could do good by myself too. It's a nice thing when you can see a woman hold her own, you know what I'm saying, and not have to depend on a man, especially when they don't have to. When I see someone hold their own shit down and not have to depend or cry on for no man, then that's what's up. And it, it, But it is nice that when we do have a man that we can depend on them and he'll be able to hold us down, you know what I'm saying, and hold our hand and make sure that regardless of what, he got our backs and we do the same for him. It's always cool when you have a man that can do that. But when you don't, but you got a man, girl, what the fuck is the sense? Like, it's like, nigga, I got to hold your back down and mine. That's, that's, that's a given, but you're not even holding my back down. So not cool. Sucks when you have one like this, that's still in a little kid's mentality. Like, even if it was two women, pull your weight. We both got to pull our own weight around here. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll hold your hand. You hold mine. I wash your back. You wash mine. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. We, we supposed to work together, but when you got one person in a relationship that's lazy and don't want to do nothing and really is selfish, then girl, bye, boy, bye, bitch, bye, okay? You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to be teamwork. And listen, then you got two kids on top of that, and you, but really you have three children because you got a grown-ass man. And the grown-ass kids are the most expensive ones. You got you a grown-ass kid, and then you got two little kids. I never had a man take care of me to the point where I didn't have to do anything. So I don't really know what that's like. Don't he ever feel like, is he ever tired of it, Melanie? Is your husband ever tired of going back to jail? How do you get over the bullshit relationship? Melanie, I think you're over the bullshit relationship. I think you're there. Now your next step is, what are you gonna do about it, okay? What are you gonna do about the bullshit relationship? How are you going to move forward, all right? How are you going to empower your own self. Now here's the big thing. Do you want to allow someone to bring you down and make your life miserable? No, you do not. I'm all for people being married and trying to keep the family together. I would never tell someone, yeah, divorce is ass, depending on the situation. Um, sometimes some things you can work on with a person. Sometimes you can make them into a better person. Doesn't mean that you have to raise them, which is unfortunately, even if you still have to do these things that I'm talking about because he's grown, but sometimes we have to hold people's hands a little bit more than others and guide them, which actually sucks because you feel like, well, if you're grown, you should be able to do that on your own. But not a lot of people grow up when they're supposed to, which is sad too, you know? Trust me, I know quite a few people like that. But this is your husband. It was for better or for worse. Seems like it's at its worst right now. And I'm pretty sure you have said things to him. I'm I'm more than pretty sure you have, especially if he's going in and out of jail. I'm going to just say this. There's no way for me to tell you how to get over something because you yourself have to do that. And if you don't feel like you're over it, then sweetheart, you are very soon trickling upon that peak of being over it from the writings in your email. What I would do is this. Like, I never, I don't, I don't want to be the cause of anyone's demise or anyone's relationship. Not, not me. I always am up for trying to work things out with a person if it's feasible, if, if it can be done. Sometimes, you know, separation is a good thing between another person. It's a good thing, separation sometimes, because that way you can allow that person to see not only what they're missing, but what they can lose, you know what I'm saying? And how maybe they can fix it and grow as an adult. So that way they won't have to have this separation permanent versus temporary. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that may work versus going all head full fledged in and saying, fuck this, it's over. For me, that would be like A1. That would be like my solution to the problem first. And I've, I've, I've been in your situation. A separation sometimes works for people. And maybe that is when you'll be able to see if he is going to grow, if he's going to mature. And him himself too can see if he is really wanting to grow for you, for his children, for his family. Sometimes some people are work in progress. Some people need more guidance than others. Yeah, some people are just a work in progress. So, 
on that note, I am going to go. I'm going to go and make some bacon because I'm going to make some wraps for dinner. I really would like to take a nap. Fuck the wraps. But that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to make some wraps for dinner, some bacon wraps for dinner. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. And on that note, I will see y'all in the next one. Go, 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 go.